Hey guys. 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 All right. Hey guys. I'm Mo here. So listen, today I've got a really important video for you. I'm going to show you how I place bracket orders and how I day trade every single day. I call it passive trading for profits. I'm going to show you how I place bracket orders, the benefits of that. It's going to be an awesome lecture. So get ready, get your pen and paper and get ready to take some notes. All right, Passive Trading for Profits, that's the title for today's talk, one of the most important lectures you're going to watch. Now, I want to talk about set it and forget it type of trading. That's the type of methodology that I use to day trade the stock market pretty much every single day, right? Whenever I'm trading, I'm using a set it and forget it. So what do I mean by set it and forget it? Set it and forget it basically means you're getting in a trade, right? You set your target, you set your stop loss, and then you don't touch it. So either it hits your stop either hits your target. Now, I know I talked about this topic in the previous lecture that I did, and I'm going to put the link in the description below to that lecture as well. And ideally, I want you to go watch that first and then come back and watch it. It'll make a lot more sense. But, you know, why should we use a set it and forget it type of methodology for trading? So one of the biggest reasons is that it keeps the emotion in check, right? Because when we're in a trade, that's when we do the most stupid things like you know, raising our stop loss, getting out. Ooh, this looks like it's going to come down. Like all these emotions, right? All this, the monkey between your ears, you know, in your head keeps talking uh, to you, makes you want to do stupid things like get out, get in, do this, do that, revenge trading. So set it and forget it. There's nothing for us to do. We put our target, we put our stop loss, and that's it, right? So it keeps the emotions in check. It's the best way to control your trading psychology, right? It eliminates the human error because here's the thing. The more orders you're placing into the market, the more errors you're going to make, right? Maybe you put the wrong price. Maybe you put the wrong quantity, right? Maybe you put the wrong stop loss. Maybe you use the wrong order type. A lot of errors can happen. But if you're just getting in a trade and putting set it and forget it type of order, again, you're not placing any other orders. So it eliminates the human error, right? And another of the biggest reasons to use bracket orders is statistics will always be in your favor, right? Statistics will always be in your favor, meaning if you've tracked it, as we talked about in the last um, lecture, if you've tracked the way of trading, right, it's statistically in your favor already, as your spreadsheet has shown. So you're using statistics in your favor by just simply following a model, right? So that is a surefire way, an easy way anybody to be a profitable trader now, right now. So once you get the technicals down, once you've learned chart analysis, once you've learned the patterns and you're not profitable, this is the approach for you, right? Try this and let me know how it goes, right? I can assure you like this is a surefire way for anybody to you know turn into a profitable trader. Uh, again, assuming you have all the other knowledge as well. So by doing a set it and forget it type of methodology, you are relying on your picks, right? you are relying on your ability to pick the right stocks. As long as you can do that, you're going to be fine, right? So you're relying on your picks, your stock picking skills, and not your execution, right? It also eliminates regret, meaning let's say you get in a trade, you know, and you're like, hey, my target is 40 cents, and it moves up 15 cents in your favor, and market's pulling back, and then you're like, oh, market's coming down, or the stock's not looking that good, I'm going to get out. And you get out, and you take your 15 cents profit, and what happens? Stock maybe does a little bit of a blip and then goes right back up and hits your 40 cent target. Now you missed out on the trade and now you're regretting it. And that leads to, again, more human errors, revenge trading, and your psychology going haywire. So that's a great way to, you know, for you to rely on your uh, picks and not your execution. And it'll eliminate regret because either it hits your target, either it hits your stop loss, right? So if it hits your target, if any stock hits your target, guess what? By setting it, forget it, you're going to be in it. If it hits your target, you're going to be in it. So you're going to capture every single stock that's going to hit target for you. You're never going to have regret. Right? Also, you don't have to stare at your screen all day. right? Most people do that. They stare at their screen all day. They get in a stock. They're just watching it. They're watching it. And they just can't get up out of their screen right? for anything. right? Not even to take a phone call. So they're just staring at it all day long because they got to move their stop loss or do this or that. The benefit of set it forget is you can just set your order and you can walk away. You don't need to do anything, right? So it also enables you to take more trades. Now, why is that a good thing? Uh, it's not a good thing for newer traders. Taking more trades for most people is a bad thing. And I really recommend people, you know, be a trade like a sniper and pick their best ones. But 
sometimes, some days, there's just like a lot of opportunity. But if you're constantly watching one stock, raising your stop loss, what is that doing? What's my opposition doing? You're raising your stop. You, you have to sell half here. You have to sell a third here, right? You're watching one stock, so you can't look at all the other opportunities that might exist in the marketplace, right? So when you place a order, right, which lets you... You set it and forget it. Now you can just set your order and you can move on to finding another opportunity. So you are going to be able to find more opportunity and take more trades in, in return. You're going to profit more. So that's why I recommend set it and forget it. Now, what are the other benefits? So we already talked about some benefits. What are other benefits? The other benefits also are lower commissions and fees. Because if you're raising your stop loss on a stock, right, and then, you know, it looks good again, then you re-enter the stock again, right or you're getting out half here and then you're adding back half and then you're getting out half here and then you're doing all this work you're creating more fees and commissions for you as a trader right another benefit also is that it's less work because think about it like i come in every single day all i gotta be make sure is i pick the right stocks on my watch list right i get in a trade put my entry put my stop put my target and i walk away literally so i'm actually working less than you are Right or wrong? Does that make sense? So think about it. If you're in front of your desk from 9 a.m. till, let's say, the market close, 4 p.m., how many hours is that? 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 7 hours about, right? 7, 8 hours. You're sitting in front of your computer. Now, if you and I are making the same amount of money, okay, let's say at the end of the year I make $200,000. And let's say you maybe make a little bit more than me, right? You make, let's say, $220,000, right? But think about it. I set my orders and I walk away. So I could be done trading by like 10 in the morning. Right? I could be out of my desk at 11, right? So if you ended up making, let's say, $220,000, but you're working seven hours a day trading or looking at your monitor, and I'm, let's say, trading two hours a day and making, let's say, less than you, 50 grand less than you, but guess what? Hourly rate, I'm actually making way more than you. I'm probably making three times more than you because I'm working three times less than you. So it also less work. Right. Another thing is less brain power is being used because research has shown research research has shown every 20 minutes or so human brain starts retaining less and less information. And you also get something known as a decision fatigue. So decision fatigue basically occurs when you're like making all these decisions throughout the day. Right. Getting in, getting out. Should I raise my stop? Should I do this? Oh, this doesn't look good. Market's doing this. My stock's doing that. Sector's doing this. Oh, my God. You know, this candlestick's coming. Oh, my God. That's a bad volume. Right. So now you're creating too much, too many decisions that you're actually going to feel really tired by the end of the trading day. Right. That's called decision fatigue. You're actually going to lose your energy because of you making so many decisions because your brain's already making so many decisions for you. Right. Breathing, all these things it's doing on its own. Don't put more you know, uh, decision fatigue on your brain, that's going to release stress hormones, cortisol, it's not a good way to live, right? So that's how most people burn out. Like I, I was trading at a prop firm long ago in New York City. And you know, there was like 50 people in that prop firm, like it's a proper desk, like everybody's trader, right? And I could see people who are way more experienced than I am probably making more money than me at that time. Not anymore. Now, not most traders don't make money who are trading at a prop firms because they're still stuck at old level two kind of methodologies. But that's off topic, right? The other thing is that they had decision fatigue because you could sense the frustration in their voice, right? They would be breaking keyboards and throwing mouse and cursing in the trading floor all the time. Where, oh my God, this stock did this, that, blah, 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 right? So it's creating decision fatigue. They're getting burnt out, right? I mean, some of these people were like 30, 40 years old and looked at, they look like they're 60, you know? That's stress, of course, it's all being re uh, released in your brain. Not a good thing, right? So for me, trading is fun. Like, I genuinely enjoy trading. For me, it's like a sport. I come into every trading day and, like, I'm so excited. Like, I really look forward to it. Like, I don't like weekends as much as I like weekdays. Every morning, I look forward to what's going to be on my watch. What am I going to trade? It's just like a sport to me, and it's fun because guess what? I'm only working one or two hours a day, placing my orders and walking away. Rest of the day, I'm helping you guys out, teaching and doing all the other stuff. So it makes trading fun and not feel like you have to work, right? You're going to burn out if you keep making too many decisions per day. So also, you know, enjoy life, ability to walk away. Like for me, let's say I come in in the morning and I've, you know, built my watch list from, you know, 8.45 till about like 9, 9.15, I build my watch list. All right, 9.30, I trade. Maybe at 9.32 or something, I enter some trades, maybe three trades, maybe two trades a day, maybe sometimes one trade a day, sometimes no trades a day. And I put my stop and I put my target and I walk away. 
Literally, I could literally walk away. There have been days where I've got up from my desk, right? Go at the gym or go, you know, go to whatever. Just enjoy life, right? Go out, get lunch with somebody. And I'll come back before the close, before the market's about to close. And I'll look at my platform and I'll see, have they hit the target? Oh, yeah, that one's hit the target. Great. Oh, that the other trade, that stopped out. Okay. Oh, that one hasn't hit the target, hasn't hit the stop loss. And guess what I do? Before the market close, I just close it. If it's a day trade, it's a day trade, right? So if it doesn't hit my target, doesn't hit my stop loss, I just close the position at the end of the day. So I can literally just place the orders for my stop and my target and literally walk away. I mean, there, there'll be days where, you know, like I'll be in some three trades, right? And I'm watching a movie. Like I'm literally have my feet up on my desk, on my trading desk, and I'm watching a movie. And, uh, you know, some, some guys come in to uh, visit me, my friends, they're like, what do you do for work? Like, you're literally just sitting there all day, right? You have your feet up on your desk. You're watching a movie, and you, you say you're working. What are you doing? I'm like, yeah, I'm working. I mean, my money's working for me. I've placed my orders, right? Statistics show that I'm, you know, right uh, most of the time and that w my winners are bigger than my losers. So most people don't get that thinking, right? They think that you have to actually work hard, right? You don't have to work hard, right? You have to use your brain. You have to work smart. Right. So, again, I'll just put my order. I'll be watching a movie. I'll be watching Netflix, just laying back and the trades are working for me. Right. Either they're going to stop or either they're going to hit target. Nothing else is possible. So that's the good part. Live life. That's the benefit of using a bracket order. Right. You might be wondering, Unmo, what the heck is a bracket order? So we're going to talk about what bracket orders are. So I use interactive brokers. That's the broker that I use. And that's the broker I recommend anybody else use. If you're a day trader, you should be using interactive brokers. Probably one of the best platforms in terms of execution um, as a broker. Now, bracket orders are basically where you place orders on both sides of the market at the same time. So let's say you place your entry, you place your stop loss, and you right, and you place your target. So it's like a sandwich. You're bracketing it, right? Bracket. So stop loss, target, entry is already in there. So as soon as your entry triggers, now you have stop and a target in the system. Now, either the stock goes up and hits your target. If so, your stop loss gets canceled, right? If it hits your stop loss, then your target gets canceled. So some platforms also call this a OCO order. One cancels another, right? So hopefully that makes sense. Pretty self-explanatory, right? So if your stop loss triggers, it cancels your target order. And if you target it, it cancels your stop loss order. So now you only need to worry about picking the right stocks and not about being the best execution trader or the best trade manager, right? There, there are none, right? I'm not a best trader. I'm not the best trade manager, but I can tell you, I work less than most people, and I make more than most people. Why? Because I set my bracket orders, and I walk away. And that enables me to even take, on some days, I see a lot of opportunity, right? I like, oh, my God, there's so much good stuff out there. And I just go everywhere in the market and just keep placing bracket orders. And guess what? My, my profit target is set at 2 to 1. My stop loss is set at 1 to 1. So if my stop loss is 10 cents, my target is 20 cents. If my stop loss is $1, my target is $2. My stop loss is 50 cents. My target is a dollar. So I place two to one orders every single where. And guess what? Even if I'm right 40% of the time, I'm going to make money, right? So if I take 10 trades, okay, if I take 10 trades and let's say uh, five of them stop me out, right? Guess what I lose, right? One to one on each of them. So I lose five overall. But if five of them work for me and I make two to one on those, guess what I make? 10. 10 minus five, I'm up five. Does that make sense? So he, that's 50%, right? Most traders, if you've taken one of our programs or anything, you're probably going to be win rate with a 60 70%. So with that, it's a winning methodology. But again, you don't even need to be right that much. As long as you're right 40% of the time, you'll be profit trader. That's what I do all day. I look at my stocks and keep placing orders all over, and I just leave. So let me show you a live example right now of how I place the bracket order on the Interactive Brokers platform. All right, so in this, uh, I'm going to show you how to place bracket orders, right? And again, you will notice a theme with my trading. So this is my platform, Interactive Brokers. And you will see here, these are all the swing trades that I'm looking to take. Swing trades meaning, you know, trades I'm going to hold on for a few days, few weeks, right? Uh, these are the ones that I send out in the newsletter. I do all these trades in my own account as well. So you will notice how every single order in my account is a bracket order, right? Here's the entry, right? Here's the profit target. Here's the stop loss. Right? Look at this one. Entry, profit target, stop loss. Entry, profit target. Every single trade I do is a bracket order, whether it being a day trade, whether it being a swing trade. Now, here's how you place a bracket order. So first things first, we put in a stock symbol. So let's say I put in, I don't know, Tiva, right? 
put in there and then you select okay buy or sell so let's say you want to go long this stock you press buy you put in your share size over here and you can put in the order type so let's say i want to get in at 1270 all right and i click this advanced column right over here on interactive brokers click the plus tab and now this box opens up now in this box i can check the box for bracket order and i'll simply put in my stop loss let's say my stop loss is 1170 a dollar stop loss and my target obviously i usually go for two to one so let's say the target is two to one so that becomes 1470 right so i put in my bracket order and i simply click submit and now you will see that um tiva the order is in the system buy limit profit target and stop loss they all go in together now here's the cool part now my work is done i don't need to look at this stock or stare at this stock right either it's my profit target either it's my stop loss as long as i'm right 40 percent of my trades i'm gonna be a profitable trader this is the surefire way of turning into a profitable trader now if you've taken the pts course or one of some of the my trainings uh then you will probably have higher than 40 percent win rate so you're going to be profitable but again this goes to show you don't need to be this amazing trader right so now this is how you place a bracket order and uh, let's say you know if you, this is a day trade i will not mess around with it i'll just let it go two to one if it's a swing trade maybe i'll see okay you know what tiva is now assume let's moved up to 1370 and i want to change it i'll simply go to my stop loss and i'll change it okay i want to raise my stop loss to break even Boom. the order in here has been updated with the correct stop loss right and then that's it and i can just manage the trade so at no given time will i have to make mistakes okay so this is how you place uh, bracket orders all right so now that you've learned how to place bracket orders i actually want to show you some chart examples of where bracket orders would have actually again saved you a lot of money and you don't have to think so look at this chart this is a trade that i actually called in the live traders chat room and you will see here i called atv long uh at sixty dollars and eighty two cents right stop loss is sixty dollars and sixty two cents and my target is sixty one twenty five right and guess what i did and you can see my executions right over here on interactive brokers i bought it at sixty you know eighty two and I sold it at 61.22 because that was two to one. If you take out 60.82, 60.22, guess what? I have a 20 cent stop loss, right? I added 20 cents to my target. I got 61.22 and I sold it because all through bracket orders. And guess what? Look at how choppy and sloppy this stock was when I got in, right? I got in over here where you see the arrow. It popped up. Now, most people would have gone break even. It comes down, bing, right? Comes down here, takes your break even. Or maybe you re-enter, you're like, oh, now it looks good again. I want to get back in this trade. You get back in it, pops up, you go break even, bing, you're out break even again, right? Goes back up again. You're like, man, I, I think I got to get back in it. It's going to go. You get in, pulls back, boom, you're out again. What's that sound I make? keep making? Ping. Well, anyways, so, you know, it keeps taking you out. Whereas I wasn't even watching it. Everybody's like on the chat room. They're like, oh, my God, the ATU is so sloppy, slow, choppy. I'm like, I don't know. I'm not even looking at it, right? Got my bracket order. It'll do what it do. And guess what? Right here, before the close, ATV, I popped and hit my target. I didn't even watch it. There's no frustration because I wasn't even paying attention to it. Here's another example. Another trade I called in the chat room called INMD. We got into here on this breakout at $48. Stop loss was $47.60. Now, what's $48 minus $47.60? $0.40 cents stop loss. So my target is what? $0.80. Cents. So $48 plus $80? $48.80, $80, right? So I placed my bracket on and walked away. And you can see my executions over here. I bought it at 48, sold it at 48.80. But look at what this stock would have done. It popped up higher. And a lot of people in the chat room made this mistake. They raised their stop loss to break even. I'm going to raise my stop loss to break even. Or under the entry candles low. Stock goes up, doesn't hit their target, pulls back. Now they're out break even. Or for and guess what? The trade in towards the end of the day went back up and hit my target. I didn't even look at it. So there's no stress, right? This is not just one-off thing. I'll show you another example. Here's another one. CASA. This day it gapped up over resistance. I called in the room, long at 432, stop loss at 414, right? Take my stop loss, multiply by two, add it to my entry. And guess what I did? Target becomes 468. And here's my executions on the platform. Bought it at 432, sold it at 468, right? Again, look at how frustrating this stock was. Popped up in the morning, pulled back below your entry went back up again pulled back to your entry again 
and just like sloppy. And then towards the end of the day, bing, it's target, right? So do you guys see the benefit of bracket order? Whereas if you were actively looking at that stock, like just looking at it, staring at it, he would have either lost money or he would have broken even, right? So do you guys remember our last lecture? This is the last lecture I did. And again, I'll post the link to that lecture in the video description below. And you'll see this is what most traders do. They get in a stock, they put their stock to break even, they get taken out of break even or for a small loss, and then the trade goes and hits their target without you. So your thinking actually costs you the money, right? Here's another example. Most people get in on a breakout, it pops up, they go break even, they're out break even or for a small loss, and then the trade goes and hits the target. And do you guys think this is just randomly something I made up? No. This is exactly what INMD did. Let's go back. Look at that. Breakout. You go break even, pulls back, and then goes. So and what I'm trying to say is bracket order will not only make you more money in the long run, it'll cause trading. So it'll make you more money. So again, the benefit of bracket order then, again, going back to the slide, as I talked about, you're working less, less brain power being used, no decision fatigue, makes trading fun, set it and forget it. Your emotions are going to be in check, right? Less human errors and you end up you're going to end up making more money in the long run. So hopefully um, this little talk helped. I wish it did, right? And this is, again, another example of what a spreadsheet could look like. You put it in there and notice this. Notice this. 46% win rate. So this person lost 58 trades and only won on 49. But he just kept doing two to one, placing out orders and walking away. And guess what? He made a good amount of money, right? And the... A, lot of, a question that I got from the last video is that if it's two or one, why is this minus one? Why is this 1.04 and why is this 0 0.77? It should be two, right? Well, here's the thing. So if it, as I said, if it doesn't hit your target and doesn't hit your stop loss, then you're just going to close it at the end of the day for whatever you can get. So in this case, this Baidu trade didn't hit the target, didn't hit the stop loss, and you just close it out before the market closed. So that's how you get an odd number like 0 0.77. And this 1.19. But again, so if you're doing this, if this is already making money, and if you're a trader who's currently a break even trader or a losing trader, if this type of trading is already making money, then why mess around? Ask yourself that question. Why mess around? Right? If this is something that can make you money with less work, less stress, more freedom, more flexibility, more time for you to enjoy life and make more money then why not do it? You want to be comfortable? You want to be rich? I'll leave you with that thought. Think about it. You want to be comfortable? You want to be rich? Think about that, and I hope this helps. Have a good one. All right, so I really hope you enjoyed this video, and more importantly, actually learned something there. Now, now it's your time to make it happen, right? Go and take action on what you've learned here. And again, if you like this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought about it.